Hey third grade, welcome back. We're doing some more language today. Um, go ahead, grab your whiteboard and work a little bit on your whiteboard with me before we move on to our worksheet. Um, today, we are gonna be working on a new skill um, in language and it is called diagramming. Diagramming, okay? Basically, when we do diagramming in language, we are checking to see if you can understand the sentence. A diagram, um, not even with language, with other things as well, um, a diagram breaks something down. So let me show you uh, what I mean by that when it comes to language, okay? So for example, if my sentence was, um, my mom, bakes, oops, not an S, um, the best cookies, okay, I can do a diagram of that sentence. First, before you can diagram it, before you can break it down, you want to be able to find your subject and verb. And guess who's been practicing finding subject and verbs? You guys have been. So I ask myself, who? Mom, that's my subject, underline it once. And what? Mom, what? What does she do? She bakes, underline that twice. That is my verb. So mom bakes. These are the two words that I'm going to diagram, okay? So when you see your paper today, it'll make a little bit more sense. But on your paper, there's gonna be a long line, okay? And um, this is kind of like a, mm, it's just another way to show how you can break the sentence down. Okay, so on this line, um, I'm gonna write my subject, which is mom. The subject always comes here. And there's a line that separates, separates it down the middle, okay? Separating the subject from the verb. So mom bakes. That's how you diagram it. This is your diagram, mom bakes. Um, which really, this is, these are the most two important words. What does she bake? She bakes cookies. And there's also a way to diagram that. We're not gonna be working on that um, in third grade, but even as you get into high school and you continue to diagram sentences, this is your first step. Um, you'll notice that my line does not just stop like this, okay? I don't just want it to stop, I do wanna draw it all the way through so that it breaks that, breaks that line, okay? So, um, diagramming, it's just like another visual way. Like think about um, a Venn, what is it called? It's a diagram. Right, a Venn diagram, sorry, my middle space is really small. But when we compare and contrast, this is a way to take that information and put it on some type of chart. Same with a sentence diagramming. You're taking the information, putting it on a, kind of like on a chart, I guess. So I'm gonna slide that forward. Your worksheet today looks like this. Okay, and I'm gonna go down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do um, one together with you. So, if we look at our directions, number one, the first direction, all right, there's two things. Number one says underline the subject one time and the verb two times, okay? We know how to do that. Our second direction will then be to diagram the subjects and verbs in the space provided. Um, it says, remember, always find the verbs first. Ah, I don't always do that because I think it's really nice to ask who and what. So number one, Morgan won the race. Okay, we're gonna find the subject. We say who? Morgan. And what? What did she do? She won. Morgan won. So now, here is that long line I was talking to you about. I'll zoom down a little bit. We are going to write our subject Morgan, then there's my line. What did she do? She won. Now, 
as you continue to work on these, there's not a ton of space. I don't want you to just draw this whole line straight down. Um, you can just um, draw it separately. So let me show you what I mean by that. Number three, the pioneers crossed the, or excuse me, number two, sorry, John Adams was the second president. Who? John Adams, okay, and what? There's not an action, but there is a linking verb, was. John Adams equals the second president. So John Adams, and see my line, I'm just gonna put it like that so it's not connected. John Adams was. All right, that's diagramming. It's just another way to put our subject and verb, take this information, and put it into some type of chart to help you understand. Now, you can actually diagram every word in a sentence. There's a way to do it. It gets to be really fun. It's almost like a puzzle, but this is just our first basic building block, and it's all that we're gonna be able to do this year in third grade um, is just diagramming subjects and verbs, okay? So go ahead, get started, and you got this.